Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tanager. Oh, I'm back here. My name is Miss Carly Tanager and we are playing some Silent Hill 4. Yes, 4. <laughs> Not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go. I do know, I might as well go back and save. Um, I do know the code for the kitchen door is 0302. But I don't know where the kitchen is. I have not found that door. Helpful. <laughs> is the TV done doing its business? Good. Same point, since I didn't save at the end of the last episode. <gasps> Boop. Okay. Game says I've been playing for an hour. The number of videos I have says lies. Okay. How's Eileen doing? She's shaving her armpits on her bed. Not in the bathroom while taking a shower or a bath like you should. Because uh, she's probably just, especially because she's in her clothes, probably shaving without shaving cream and or soap or anything. And that shit's going to hurt. I'm getting you know, razor bumps all over the place. Scarf red paper stuck underneath there. Lately, I've been feeling life like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt like I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. 1112, or 011. Two, one, zero, two, fuck, all those numbers. And the name of their killer was carved as well. Obviously, those aren't numbers. Look at them. It's not 01121. It's 01 21. 02 21. 03 21. 02 21. Like, I may not be playing this completely blind, but it's pretty obvious. Even I would think that even if I'd never heard of Silent Hill before and I played this game, I would go, oh, okay, it's probably, it, that that first one is probably just a dash and everybody's misreading it as a one and it's going to be 21 victims. His name was Walter Sullivan, April 4th. I, is anybody in there? Hey, Frank, how you doing? Is he just creeping outside my door now? Okay. <laughs> Bye, Frank. It's like, if I remember correctly, his name's Frank. Man, I don't know shit. This is gonna end well. Shoom. Uh oh. Okay. So now I gotta find a place to put this coat in. Because Mr. Dumbass has run off. I don't like running up this way. But I feel like I should at least once. Whee! I prefer the ladders. Uh oh. Oh no! Batsies! Reasons why you should not fucking use. Cause you'll wake up the Batsies. Have I been in here? Okay. This is a creepy. I went up and it seems like it's locked from the inside. Okay. Oh, this is the sluice gate thing that was mentioned?
Handle you return it? Yes. Don't know if it's a good thing to do. Wasn't really paying attention to the thingy my bob. Probably should have. Didn't though. Okay. Don't know what that's draining out into. Alright. <clears throat> so there's definitely going to be something that I'm going to have to do in the basement. I'm going to have to restart that generator. And I have this code. I really shouldn't have tried to run around the edges. <laughs> now they're all awake. <laughs> um... There's got to be a spot with a kitchen. Uh, hi. Hello. How are you? Creepy little head things. Why does it still sound like there's somebody heels in the center? <laughs> It's a diary. We had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria. I heard there's such a death chamber. I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen and they took meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Cannibalism. Great. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Okay. There's also those bloody rooms now that I think about it. Uh, there's clothes. There, there is clothes. <laughs> okay, the water's just draining and just <gasps> fuck. That creepy ass thing is still there. <laughs> what happens if I just... Yeah run the other way. Will it be pointing at me from the other direction or am I just gonna run into a spot? Oh hey, a hole. What happens if I jump in it? <laughs> I mean, I lined up all the bloody holes. Let me jump in the fucking holes. <laughs> I assume I'll eventually find a kitchen. Also, he should be breaking his legs. The fuck? Where am I? Is that a key? Hold up, that looks like a key. Give. give. No. <laughs> the glare of the ring light. I can't see very well sometimes. Oh no, that's just a spoon. <laughs> oh shit, hi. Um, how you doing? Is this the kitchen? This is potentially a kitchen. I mean, those look like kids. What the fuck, camera? Like eat eating thingies. Okay. Bonk. 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 Also, every time that Henry's gotten separated from an NPC, they have died. You'd think he'd start going, hey, stay with me, or you'll die. There's a plate. Oh, fuck. There's a plate on the door. Every single time there's been a plate on a door, inside the door has been a dead person. Wonderful. It's dark and I can't see the buttons. What? Oh, tits. Okay, well, that's definitely where I have to put... Okay, even if you can't see the buttons, it should be obvious where the buttons are if it's a standard keypad, you know? It starts, starts 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 0. Yeah, okay, nerd. Uh, so I have to get the lights turned on, so I do have to go to the generator part. Okay. Rude. Unlocked. Uh, oh, right. 
So generator, this way, I believe. Yeah. What's always yelling at me here? I'm not a fan of those growlies. <laughs> nope. I'm just gonna nope. Mm. Stop hitting me! <laughs> ya fuck! Come here! <laughs> I'll step on you! Okay. I need this entire area without a single health item. I am concerned. Okay, come here. I said, come here. Uh. I can't step on it. It's... I can't step on it! <laughs> it's on the railing! Oh, the suitcase with the water wheel! Duh! Okay. Now I can step on you. Alright, come at me. Come at me. I'm gonna get you- ah, How dare you. Step! Bonk. 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 Okay, you guys done? So... I have to get the water to go down here. So do I have to turn them again from the center room until they pour into these areas? Is That's my assumption right now. That is my definite assumption. Because there was, if, if I can align the pipes, because there was pipes. There was definitely pipes. There was definitely pipes. But I don't know if I can tell from in here. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill these guys. Okay, come here! Or you could lock onto the right one, you fuck. The rest of them ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> okay. So, I assume I have to get the pipes to align, but I can't tell, I can't tell from here. Because the pipes are outside the rooms. Fuck. Ah, oh, this is gonna- I, I feel like this is gonna be frustrating. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try this one. Mm, actually, let's try the high- the highest one. Cause... It's the third floor. Wait, no. It is the first floor. Because we can't move the first floor, so we have to do everything based off of the first floor. Okay, here we go. Pipes. So I have to turn it. 
until the water is going through the correct pipes. The ones that are not broken. Problem is, I don't know which ones that, are, that is. Shit. Hmm. Okay, my assumption is maybe if I go up to the third floor, I can see which ones it's coming out of now and which ones it needs to go into and rotate that many times and see if it works. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of trial and error. I can already fucking tell. Here's the second floor. Okay, here's the third floor. Okay. So I need to move this, I need to move this one over one. This room is the room with the shirt. Okay, so I need to move this one over one because it needs to match up onto this, I assume. That's my assumption. So I need to move that one at least once. I don't, can't remember if I need to move right or left though, so. This one. I'm gonna need to move. Potentially not at all. Okay. Maybe I just have to move the top one. That would be nice if I only had to move the top one. Guess we'll see. Okay. So I turned it once. And yes, they align. Okay. So if I go down to the next floor. Actually. Let's double check, because I got a sneaking suspicion it's more complicated than that. Oh, can you not, bro? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, you shit. Yep, it is more complicated than that. God damn it. Hang on. One, two, three. Okay. I'm just not giving a fuck. <laughs> okay, so it is more complicated than that. Damn it. Well, this is gonna be a headache. Okay, well that took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but... Okay, that's running. Does that mean I can turn on the generator? It's bright. Okay. Still looks like a boss fight area over here. <laughs> That's a giant door, I just realized that. <laughs> okay, can I turn it on? The transformer is working. Okay. But then how do I turn the lights on? So that's what I need to do. I need to get the lights turned on. You know, it did say, but I can't remember how to access my, this one? No. I can't remember how to access my notes. Or if I even can. There probably is a way to, I just don't know how. Okay, so we got this working. But I went down to the thing and there was no light there. Maybe there was just a light switch that I missed. Might as well look. That was annoying. I kept having to um, go out, like, turn the thing, leave the place, go multiple screens over to figure out if I'd moved in the right direction. Did I, not, did I move in the wrong direction? Yes. Go all the way back, multiple screens over. Rinse and repeat. Thankfully, it was just the first or the third floor that I had to mess with. No. No. Fuck. Fuck off. Okay. Oh shit! Lights are on. Okay, cool. They weren't on last time I looked in here. Well, I guess Henry can actually see the thing. Now, I'm going to be so mad if it's a standard numerical output.
Okay, it's reverse. Whatever. Because <laughs> usually it'd be one, two, three at the top. Uh, this O three O two. Also, how did DeSalvo get in here? How did Andrew DeSalvo get in here? Like, how? How did he get in here when the door was locked and nobody could see the freaking keypad? How did he get in here? Explanations. They are important. <laughs> He did. He hella did. Did we get to see how he died? No. Did we get to see that he died? Yes. Could he have possibly survived a little bit longer if he'd actually stuck with me instead of raving like a madman and walking off? Also, yes. <laughs> would the world done s with this world? Would this hell world have done something wibbly wobbly to separate us, even if they tried to stay together? Most likely. This is different. It's like it's evening time. Well, you lost another one, Henry. <laughs> Can't save shit. I <laughs> a little room just like the water filled room under the cylindrical prison there's blood coming out of here turn the water on get rid of it nope <laughs> uh, uh no <laughs> great my house is getting possessed wonderful Swear to God, if they take away my ability to actually, like, heal, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghost. It saved my life. It was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seemed to change in response to the ghost's victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there's only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. Okay. So, it's a type of sword that I can use to pin the ghost or something? Stabby stabby? Sup? Help! try to open it up but it looks like something's uh, blocking it from the inside anyway it's not the first time then you should be a little bit more concerned bro you mean the guy who lived here before and it wasn't just him either there's uh, something wrong I <laughs> don't say that. You're scaring me. Well, anyway, I just slipped a note under his door. Uh, don't worry about it too much. You should be worried. Why do you have an umbilical cord, bro? <laughs> Why do you have an umbilical cord? <laughs> Why does he have an umbilical cord? <sighs> it's not my fault, bro. I didn't do nothing. 
<laughs> Seriously, maybe we should start looking at Frank Sunderland for being a creep. Freaking keeping umbilical cords. Scrap of red paper stuck in here. Okay. It's stained with blood. <laughs> Wait. I can't read it. So... The superintendent's memo is stained with blood. I got blood stained while going through the door. Great. Alright, let's take a look at Eileen before I end the video. Eileen, how you doing? I... She ain't there. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Ms. Carly and I've been playing some Silent Hill 4. I'll see you all in the next video.